Hey guys, it's Shama Maher, CEO of Scaling Retail, and this week on Retailing Weekly, we're talking about catalog mailers. Really big on the scene in the last year and a half has been the rise of the catalog mailer, and now that we're in the home stretch of Q4, you might be asking yourself, well, when am I gonna start to be receiving or sending out those holiday catalogs? Well, guys, it's already been happening in full effect. According to multiple different resources, holiday sales are expected to rise up 4%, with the average consumer spending over $1,000 this holiday season. Now, this is really exciting news. So many retailers actually are in the red the entire year before embarking on their holiday sales strategy whereby they make up almost 60 sometimes 70 or 100 percent of their sales within these three months so as long as catalogs end up yielding about a dollar for every 20 cents that are spent in it, catalogs are going to be still a mainstay on the scene. Now the landscape of catalogs have changed tremendously. We all know that companies like Neiman Marcus are known for having their big holiday catalog mailers, really beautiful, lush editorial, a great way to provide your luxury consumers with a great experience. But also guys, we're seeing companies like Casper, Warby Parker, Lunia, Amor Vert, smaller, direct-to-consumer startup businesses really honing in on that platform. Even vitamin companies are starting to send out direct mailers towards that younger millennial and Gen X consumer. So guys, as we're looking into the holidays, catalogs are a big deal. It's important to take a look at your existing mailing list, figure out who you'll be segmenting to, and start to experiment, not just with longer form holiday content calendars, but also these shorter form easy call to action pieces of content. Maybe you're setting a discount. Maybe you're directing someone to your pop-up shop that is local to them. Think about direct to consumer mailers as an amazing opportunity to bridge physical paper, translate it back to online, but also look at it as it translates back, back into any brick and mortar opportunity that you have. So. Long gone are the days with the really thick restoration hardware or pottery barn catalogs, so those are certainly around. And now we have these much higher touch point editorialized platforms that are really there to provide the customer with an amazing content editorial of your brand. It's the luxury, it's the feel, it's the ability for them to see that on their table and have that there for about a few weeks, right? Isn't that amazing? The power of media and the power of content. All right, guys, so make sure. What does holiday strategy mean to you? How are you executing? Can you send out a thank you postcard? Can you do something to really tie in that physical direct mail experience back to your consumer? And guys, if you're wondering about saving the environment, about what it means for trees, etc. I hear you. I get it. Think about something about using, you know, recyclables, post-consumer waste products. Think about ways in which you can maybe send out something that is uh, reusable in a variety of different ways, right? But what is your physical touch point this holiday? All right, guys. I'll talk to you later. Have a fantastic day. Bye.